Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get better FPS and improve your performance in new Spider-Man Miles Morales. Once again, this game has been dropped out recently and a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video on this. So here I am back again to cover this new video. Make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all this said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential window settings that all of you have to apply on your computer. Simply search for settings and then search for game mode and then make sure that game mode is turned on. Right under that, go to graphics section, go to browse and then go to the install location of your game. Once you are in the folder of your game, simply select the exe file and click on add. Once it is added, go to options and then click on high performance and then hit on save. Once it is done, go to windows update section and then go to advanced options and then go to delivery optimization and make sure to turn off the allow downloads from other PCs. This will optimize all of the settings on your computer. Once it is done, simply close it and let's move to step number two. That is NVIDIA control panel settings. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, make sure to use this. If you have an AMD GPU, then use the similar settings. Right click on any empty area of your desktop and then open NVIDIA control panel. Once you are here, go to adjust image settings with preview and select use the advanced 3D image settings. Then click on manage 3D settings and then copy the same settings as I have applied over here. These are the best settings for your game, so make sure to apply it on right now. Step number three is system configuration, and for that, simply search for system configuration. And once it pops up, go to the boot section, go to advanced options, click on number of processors, and choose the maximum number of processors, and then click on OK. This will make the performance of your Windows much smoother as soon as it starts. Then look up for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows, and then click on adjust for best performance, select show thumbnail instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts then simply click on apply this will deanimate your windows and allow your computer to utilize much more memory towards the game just after applying this step you will see a lot of improvement in your performance step number four is choosing the power plan and for that simply search for control panel and over here search for power options right over here you will find a list of all the power plants on your computer i highly recommend you guys to use high performance or ultimate performance if you have it on your computer but if if you're on a laptop, go with balanced as that will save a lot of battery and heating on your laptop. Step number five is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point. Once you're here, look up for local disk C or in your IVC system, click on create, name it Spider-Man and then simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip that step because if anything goes wrong on your computer, you can always restore everything back to normal. Step number six is the FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this FPS pack in the description below. You can download and open this thing up. You will find in two folders. First one is your registry files. Simply open it up and apply all of these registry files by right clicking and opening it up or simply merge it or double clap to run it. But on all of these files, this will optimize your computer. Just in case you're wondering what are the changes, simply right click, go to show more options and then click on edit. You can see all of the changes that it is going to make on your computer. Once again, if you are not satisfied with these changes, you can go back to this folder and then revert everything back to normal. Then go into the second folder, which is the RAM optimization. And I have left a lot of presets to memory on your computer. If you are wondering what memory you're using, simply search for system information and then look at the installed physical memory of your computer. For me, it is 16 GB. So I have to apply the 16 GB RAM registry. It can be different for you. So apply from this list over here. Once again, I've also left the reset to default registry. So if it does not work well for you, you guys you can always reset it to default and lastly is the clean temporary files dot batch it does nothing but cleans all of the unwanted temporary files on your computer and to run it you have to simply right click and run this as administrator and it will politely ask you to delete all temporary files you can simply press any key and it's going to delete all of the unwanted files on your computer pretty great once you're done with the fps pack simply go on to steam or wherever you have purchased the game go into your library and right over here you have the spider-man miles morales simply right click go to properties and in the launch option simply type in no vid and then close it 
and now simply click on play and follow the in-game settings. All right, so for the best settings, what you have to do is press your escape key and then go into settings. Over here, you have to go into display and graphics and right over here, you will see all of your display settings. Now over here, what you have to make sure is that your window is in exclusive full screen mode as well as the display is your native display. Then your refresh rate should be the highest possible refresh rate of your monitor. Then all of the settings down over here are just user preferences, but make sure that the upscale method, if you want, you can use DLSS or AMD FSR 2.1, whatever suits best for you. And once it is done, go to the graphics section and over here preset, set this thing to low. And you can see as you guys change the settings, you can see the settings being changed in the background. But what you're looking for over here is the texture quality set to low, texture filtering set to trilinear, then your shadow quality low, ambient occlusion. You have to set ambient occlusion to off, screen space reflection off, ray tracing reflections turned off, and then the level of detail and everything in the geometry should be set to low. Camera effects, depth of field, you can keep it to high. Bloom, you can keep it to on or off, doesn't really matter a lot. Lens flares, turn this thing off. Chromatic aberration, turn this thing off. Vignette, turn this thing off. And rest all of them are just user preferences. Once it's done, simply press E to apply it and click on continue. And go back into your game and then look at the FPS you're going to get in the game. I feel this is totally amazing. So that was it for this video guys. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below. It seriously helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all this said, see you later. Bye.